like you said, he, I I made time for it as a leader because I, you know, like, hey, we need to reflect, but we're going to bombard you with information and then you do it on your own time. So like as, as a, a principal, current principal, what are, are there some ways that you kind of build in time for people to reflect, um, you know, in your, on your staff, like where they can actually like have that time for like reflection, because I, I feel we're just so into collaboration that it's like, I just, can you just give me some time to process things? Like, can I just think for a second, right before you ask me to contribute? Right. So like, how, how do you look at kind of building that in with your staff? Uh, on uh, Sundays, um, I actually send, um, I write my memo. Mm -hmm. And then I turned it into a video. Um, within it, I actually asked my staff to reflect. We reflect on one data point, uh, and then we reflect on um, four instructional uh, practices that we were trying to perfect. So I tell them we never we're shooting for perfection, but we're not there yet. Right. And so um, I try to get them to think about this is what. I saw and I use real pictures of people in the building who are doing it right, right? And so I embed um, a picture if I see a teacher, it could have been just something simple. It could have been us embedding um, some instructional, um, whatever we were teaching the instruction into like our morning message for children. Yeah. Some teachers will put some errors in there and if they were teaching uh, punctuation, commas, whatever it was, they'll They'll infuse that into their message. Mm -hmm. And so the children are looking for those arrows. It right. could have been um, you, um, the teacher that was doing that that math practice where um, all of the children were, are struggling with math across the country. And so she was just using addition so that her children wouldn't feel intimidated when she told them we would divide mm -hmm. uh, because they could, they could add something right. really simple. Really, really simple. It could have been a picture of children working together um, and say, are you giving children enough time to process the information that you're teaching? Are you just continuously going through your lesson thinking, oh, I got to get this done. I got to finish this lesson today. But children needed more time to work together to figure it out. Mm -hmm. um, and so I infused that time. Um, I also moved our collaborative planning to the afternoons. Mm -hmm. Um, because when you have it during the daytime, um, there's a time constraint. And so we started at 3.30 um, and they know that, you know, we're stopping at 4.30. But I found that uh, most weeks they go until 5. Sometimes right. they walk out the room and they still down the hall talking to each other because they're still reflecting right. on the conversations that they were having. Um, I always start with reflection questions throughout. So mm -hmm. it makes you think. Um, and they, the teachers, I thought they would hate it. I was like, oh, so, so that means we're going to meet every Wednesday after school. And they love it because they get to actually see each other and see what's, uh, hear what's going on across the grade levels every week. And they absolutely love sharing the strategies. Every other week, we just throw out strategies that we're using to help. Or I'll ask a teacher, do you have a, um, is there a problem of practice we need to talk about, basically? So what are you teaching? And uh, do you need some tips on how to uh, get children to understand it? And mm -hmm. um, like my newest teachers, it could be the old teachers, like we're working on, on this and my children are not quite getting it. And then the teachers in the other grade levels will say, well, have you tried this right here or that? And it's one of the most powerful right. uh, reflective sessions I've ever seen. And it was just, it was just accidental because there just wasn't enough time to get it done during the day. Mm -hmm. But my teachers like really uh, love it. They started without me. If I'm still out there with children at this so I walked in, they're like, we already started. Mm -hmm. um, and so like, like they're doing it on their own now. 